Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. It's my first day back at work after a vacation and my mom was on vacation last week too so that means we have a lot of patients today because when the doctor's not here you have to like schedule a bunch of patients for when the doctor gets back. Anyways, let's go to work. I was finally able to get my claw clip in. I have a ponytail in and that's the only way that it stays. Life hack. It's Tuesday by the way. Okay, I'm home from work and I do want to give a big thank you to Omnilux for sponsoring today's video. You guys know my mom's a dermatologist, so she was so excited to hear that I'm working with Omnilux because this is just so cool. So Omnilux is recognized as the world leader in medical grade LED light therapy devices. I currently have the Omnilux Clear. Omnilux combines clinically proven wavelengths of red and blue light at optimized energy levels to naturally treat the skin through a treatment called LED light therapy. It's also FDA cleared, safe, and 100% natural, backed by science and studies. I've been loving doing this in the evenings as part of my skincare routine, so this helps with acne, which I didn't think that light devices could actually help with acne, but now that I have this and I've read into it, it's actually super cool and totally backed by science. I've always struggled with acne, and since coming off the birth control, I have had multiple flare-ups here and there, so implementing this LED light therapy into my night routine helps my face remain clear but at the same time it's super relaxing I like to read or just scroll through my phone and it just kind of gives me a 10 minute unwind button Omnilux's LED technology is the premier choice of pro skincare experts and is found in thousands of dermatology and aesthetic clinics worldwide it's really cool because it's portable you can walk around the house with it all you have to do is turn on the button and it lasts for a 10 minute session and it'll automatically turn off after 10 minutes so make sure to click the link in my description box to get 10% off Omnilux for a limited time good morning guys this is me and my beauty in the morning and I want to say that I have two toothbrushes someone commented that I should get an electric toothbrush in my morning routine and I have one and here's why I have two listen up the TikTok dentist that I was obsessed with said that you should have two toothbrushes so that at all times, one of them is completely dry because if you use the same toothbrush in the morning and at night, it's most likely not gonna fully dry and that gives bacteria a chance to grow and thrive, whatever. I don't know if I believe it, but who cares? Anyways, I also like manually brushing sometimes. So I do this one in the morning and this one at night. And that's a little bit about me. I'm gonna get ready for the day. I'm trying to get ready for the day in the mornings as opposed to waiting until like noon. Um, but I wanted to show you this new sunscreen that I picked up from my mom's office. I got this whole box of samples, which I'm so grateful for. I just live off samples, that's my life. So it comes with like a bunch of these little samples. This is the La roche Posay Tinted Mineral SPF 50. And let's test it out together. Pretty dark tint, so I'm kind of scared that it'll, it'll be, oh my God, it's like water. You see how it's too dark for me? But I think if I rub it in enough, it'll be like a self tanner, you know what I mean? Like maybe I won't have to tan my face if I just wear this every day. Oh my gosh, I actually love this. This is so good. It's a little bit watery. I'm hoping that it'll dry compared to the Elastin. This is the Elastin. This one's much more texture wise good, but this is a great alternative. So if I had to pick one, I would pick the Elastin, but I'll have them both linked down below. I love that it gives me like a tan without having to use my tanning drops. Or if I did use my tanning drops and I put this on, I would be like a golden queen. Okay, AJ's about to cock it up. So if you're new around here, we have this glass shower that we installed ourselves. I got this from Wayfair, but the problem is water leaks out because it's not like sealed or anything. So he bought this clear caulking and we're gonna see if it works. Okay, going back to the sunscreen i'm not wearing any foundation today and if you have a more even skin tone than me it would look better but i don't feel like putting foundation on today because i'm happy with how this looks but i got in my pepper bras so if you follow me on instagram you know that i am trying this brand called pepper they are a bra company that makes bras for people who don't have big chests like me and i purchased two bras and i want to show you how they look so this is the first one 
it's like their classic bestseller bra and I got it in this like really light pink color and guys I am obsessed I've never had a bra fit me this good because I have a really wide torso I'm a 36 double A they don't sell that anywhere in store or online it's like a custom size so as you can see there's no spacing in the cups and it's wide enough because my other bras are like here and here the cups are like here and it's so annoying so this one's super wide the back is just a classic back i'm super obsessed with it it comes in multiple uh tones so many colors that match your skin tone um and it's like this little it's like i got this little fabric on top it's just so cute i'm obsessed super comfortable it is underwire but you can't even tell because it's it fits perfectly not sponsored by the way uh let me show you the other one okay this one is like their no wire one it comes in small medium large i'm in a medium and it's super soft in the back no wiring it's kind of like a t-shirt bra i got it in the same color this one is more for like around the house when you want to be super comfortable and that one gives you more of a lift maybe if you're wearing a v-neck or something where you just want to feel a little bit more put together but yeah i wore this throughout north carolina loved it they also sell these adapters. I picked up the two pack. Basically, you just put this in the back on the straps if you want to make it a cross body. That way, if you're wearing like a tank top that goes like angled, you know what I mean? It. They're like 50 bucks each, so they are a little bit pricey, but they're so, so, so worth it. I didn't realize how good bras should feel and I finally feel complete. So I'll be throwing out all of my other bras When you put on makeup and then you put on a t-shirt and you just wipe it all off. No, but honestly, I'm about to throw away all of my other bras. Terrible, 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 terrible. This one, oh my God, it's terrible. They're all terrible, terrible, terrible. You only need two. I'm, I am gonna keep this strapless one. They do sell strapless bras on there as well, but um, this one's fine, so I'm gonna keep that. So yeah, getting rid of four stupid bras that don't fit me. Okay, I wanted to give a little post birth control update. So if you're not interested in that, go ahead and skip forward a few minutes. But just to recap, I got off birth control in February of this year in hopes of trying to start a family sometime this year. It's been March, April, May, June, July. So this is month number five. I got my period back right away, which I was so grateful for. I started out by having really, really bad periods. like terrible periods and they were similar to what they felt like while i was on the pill i would always get back pain terrible cramps i would be immobile for a day or two i would have to take three tylenols and three advils at the same time in order to function but i've noticed that the last two cycles in particular so june and july they've been flawless and i'm like what's going on I'm so happy because I have like only very, very mild cramps and very mild back pain, but like I could honestly go without taking any pills at all, which is crazy. What else? I've also been having some spotting, a lot of spotting in the last few cycles before my period, which if you do all this research, you'll learn that everything is abnormal and everything that your body's doing is a sign that something is wrong. I'm not gonna buy into that belief. I'm just gonna go with the flow but i just wanted to update because i was really scared to get off the pill because i was worried that my periods would be treacherous um even worse than when they were on the pill because the reason i got on the pill was one of them was for really bad periods so i'm really happy to report that five months in my periods are like super easy not too heavy i have a, a a day or two of light cramping but it's honestly so amazing i'm hoping that it continues i'm hoping that it's not just a fluke but I, I just wanted to encourage you guys in case you're on the fence about getting off or staying on and if you're scared i would recommend just giving it a try and make sure you give it enough time give it at least six months uh, for your cycle to come back in the first place for your cycle to regulate for your cycle to um, potentially be less painful but I'm hopeful and I'm happy that my periods seem to be going in the right direction and yeah if you didn't see my last video I kind of talked about like the starting a family journey and I will be sharing more about that I've been kind of hesitant because it's so vulnerable but I'll be sharing bits and pieces here and there with you guys because I just want to provide a source of support because nobody talks about this journey only after the fact I feel like it's either you're trying to conceive for two years and your whole channel is about infertility 
or you try in secret for a year and then you finally get pregnant and then you talk about it but then you're too excited about the pregnancy to even like take the time to talk about the struggle so i don't know i just kind of want to be a little bit more open um just bear with me yes um, I also do talk about it more on my podcast, but basically we've been trying for three months now We're going into our fourth month and I'm just hopeful. I'm trusting in the Lord Anyways, let me know if you guys are interested in this at all. If you're not interested I totally don't have to talk about it, but I feel like a lot of you are so just let me know in the comments down below If you're interested in this topic, even if you're not like trying to start a family I know that I was watching all the family channels even in high school. So oh, don't worry make some lunch yeah okay i want to freeze these bananas because i am gonna make some smoothies this week maybe i'll make one today if i'm feeling good the key to good smoothies is freezing your fruit because if you just put fresh fruit and a bunch of ice it might be too like icy and watery just depends what kind of smoothies you like honestly but some of my flowers are already dying R.I.P. Oh, and I realized that I didn't put enough bananas in my banana bread. That's why it tasted like crap. Okay, I'm gonna watch some Mikkel Jancy while I make some lunch. Mikkel, we love you. You want some cold brew? Okay. Okay, we're back from the gym. That was the first official leg day that I've done in like two and a half weeks. So I'm gonna try the cold brew concentrate that I never got a chance to try on my trip. And then I got this non-dairy oat creamer from Trader Joe's. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. But what I like about this is that you can probably make it stronger. Honestly, I could probably drink this straight. <gasps> Oh, um, quite strong. It's pretty good. I don't think I did one-to-one. -one. I think I did a little bit more of this. Oh! Mmm, yummy. Guys, this is good. Oh, shoot, I put too much. I put too much creamer now, it's too sweet. I'm gonna freaking be off the walls, let me tell you that much. It's 2.30, so at least it's early. Okay, I realized I didn't show you the caulking. It's kind of hard to see. Um, it's fine. It's not super perfect, but that's okay. It gets the job done. You can't even see it really. Like, when are you ever gonna be over here looking at it? It's just some areas have such a large gap that it was hard to fill, but gets the job done. Um, apparently it takes like seven days to fully dry, but AJ said we can shower today as long as we just keep the splashes to a minimum. So I'm about to shower. I just edited two Instagram reels for next week and I'm really happy that I'm getting more into Instagram with all my free time now. And I'm kind of nervous for my surgery on Friday. I'm getting four wisdom, all four removed and I'm very anti it, but it's to the point where it needs to be done. I'm 25 years old, they're bothering me. They've been bothering me. So I'm giving up control on this one. And apparently they don't do anesthesia these days. It's just local injection. So love that. Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm doing for it? Bring me to my knees. I'm so stupid, would you tell me honestly if I wasn't meant to be what I see when I dream? Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm- I'm on the phone with the dentist for tomorrow for my wisdom teeth removal. I'm supposed to be taking an antibiotic beforehand, which I f completely forgot. So I'm on the line with them to see which pharmacy they sent it to so I can go pick it up. I'm going to my dad's, which I'm kind of nervous about. Okay, I'm kind of distracted. Hold on. Back. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, I have to go to my dad's at 11.30 for a health insurance meeting. Originally, I was just gonna phone call in, but then I was like, you know what? I haven't been there in like three months since I stopped working there, which is crazy. I have all my stuff there. It's like as if I just completely got raptured. But yeah, I'm gonna go say hi to everybody. I'm kind of nervous. I haven't been back in so long. I'm gonna like clear out my desk and have the, okay, so the purpose of the meeting is our health insurance group rates are going up to like 800 and something dollars a month from like 600 something. So uh, the health insurance agent is gonna be zooming in, like a zoom calling in 
and we're all gonna be like brainstorming on what's the best solution because I'm I was typically the one who handled the health insurance renewal so that's at 11:30, and then I need to pick up my antibiotics I need to do a bunch of stuff and then I want to buy some new shoes today so hopefully we get everything done Okay, it's 2.41. I was there for so long, I'm so hungry. I'm in the Taco Bell drive-thru. Throwback, am I right? I surprised my dad, he was really happy to see me. So that was sweet. We had the insurance meeting. Wait, what am I gonna get from? Oh, they have crispy chicken now? Cantina crispy chicken tacos, yes please. We had the insurance meeting. We think that we know what we're gonna do and then hopefully we can make a decision tomorrow. I cleared out my office. I have closure. I feel like I finally have closure because I was kind of like, oh my gosh, when am I gonna go back and like get my stuff and like say an official goodbye for now to everybody because, okay, hold on. Hi, can I have the cantina crispy chicken tacos? Anything else? And one spicy potato soft taco. That's it? That's it. Ah! She only gave me one of the of the chicken tacos. I thought I got two, so now I only have two total tacos. But yeah, it was really good. I said hi to everybody. It was so sweet. A couple of them have already come by the dermatology office to like get something done or like be seen by my mom or just check out the place. So I have seen a few of them, but it was nice to like surprise everybody. And we're gonna do a big company picnic next month and we might do like both companies together. I'm not sure yet, but that'll be really fun as well. So yeah, just overall a fun, very spontaneous last minute decision to come in, but I'm so glad that I did. It feels so weird to be here, like so weird. I can't believe that I used to be in that office for nine hours a day. It's honestly crazy. I'm so grateful to be where I am today, to be working part-time, part-time for myself. I'm just so grateful. And all of you guys watching from like back in the day, I know you I know you feel me with this, that it's crazy. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna go home, eat my tacos, and I think we're still gonna go to Sawgrass Mall to buy some shoes. Oh my gosh, thanks for reminding me. I need to pick up my prescription. I need to do that now, don't let me forget. I'm going right now. Okay, this pharmacy line is taking forever, so I need to eat, I'm so hungry. I already ate the spicy potato one, but I wanted to film my review of the chicken one. Doesn't look that bad. I'm not gonna spill this on you. It doesn't look bad, it's, okay. I have to go forward now, great. Oh God. Give me a minute. Okay guys, we gotta do this quick. Guys, this is so good. It's actually fire. It's a chicken tender. Oh yeah. This white shirt is Aritzia, so if I spill on this shirt, I'm gonna hate myself. 9.5 out of 10. Okay, I'm home. Uh, I brought a bunch of important paperwork that I had in my office, like personal paperwork, house documents, transcripts, so I'm gonna file that away later. Got my prescription, it's amoxicillin. I need to start taking that tonight. And then I have a whole bag of stuff from my office that I will go through later. And we're gonna go to Sawgrass Mills Mall. Um, they have a Converse store there and they also have a Nike store there. I'm trying to decide if I wanna get Nikes, like gym shoes, like athletic shoes or Converse for lifting for my gym days because the Converse I can wear to the gym and also like to the mall but the Nikes I wouldn't wear to the mall. So the Converse are more versatile and I do still have these ones as like my athletic shoe if I need to like ever go on a run or something. So I'm leaning towards the Converse unless I see a Nike that I really, really like. Okay, I figured I would wear these sneakers to the to the mall so that I could have like socks, but I think it looks kind of ridiculous. Kathleen said she had some things of mine. A chair, a book, and a little gray piece of paper. She thought it was a Okay guys, I'm not really sleepy, I don't know why. But, went to California Pizza Kitchen. What was that? There was like a, a fly or something. I decided to go with the Converse because I couldn't find any Nikes that I liked. And these were only $60, so they're pretty affordable. I just got the white low top Converse in a size eight, which is interesting because I'm normally a size nine, but in Converse I'm an eight. 
They're actually much more comfortable than I would have imagined. I need flat shoes for lifting weights and squatting and stuff. So this will be my go-to gym shoe. And like I said, I'll be able to wear it with jeans. As far as the stuff that I got from my dad's office, <laughs> I got my little cardigan that I used to wear every single day. I need to wash this. I have my little bag. This was like my dental bag because I brushed my teeth a lot. I had like a little portable toothbrush and everything. I had two lint rollers. Don't know why. And I brought my little pen holder. This is from Amazon. It's just like this cute little green pen cup thing. Colored pens and felt tip stuff. I got my notary stamp. I am a notary, Florida notary, which means you guys know what that means. It's actually expiring soon, so I have to decide if I want to renew that. Okay. Oh, well, I needed it for work, but... It's usually relevant when we have kids. Well, you can't even notarize your own family members, so it's pointless. Yeah, you can't notarize your family members or anybody that is, like, blood-related to you. It's illegal. Well, it's, it's, it's not good practice. Okay, that's fantastic. But like, if you were to be invested, if that document were to be investigated, it would be like not a valid notary. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I, ke I, kept, I kept deodorant at my desk because you know why. My dental gum, this is a xylitol sugar-free gum. And then my notebook with all my notes in it. How sad. Just some mail that came for me at the office. Yeah, that's every, That's all my personal belongings that I had at the office. I kept it pretty minimal. And yeah, officially moved out and they're all fighting for my standing desk. It's so funny, they all want it. Really? Yeah. It's a good desk. Yeah, it's, it's a, a good a desk. Porcelain top? Yeah, I'm gonna miss that desk. It's a really nice desk. Yeah, oh, but I don't, I don't need it. it. It doesn't go with our house anyway. No, no, I'm just kidding. It went with the vibe of that office, but I would not want to take that home because it's it's just not the it's not the right color. I'm happy with my flexi spot, my white flexi spot. Oh my gosh, we've been watching um, Eat Sweet, Pray Obey. <laughs> Keep sweet, pray, obey. I love cults. I love Sister Wives. Um, I'm really sad that I can't watch the new Sister Wives season because you have to like pay for a certain channel on Hulu or something. But I've been watching that documentary about FLDS and it's really interesting. I love it. I'm gonna take my antibiotics, shower, watch some cult TV. And then tomorrow we have my wisdom teeth removal. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see how that goes. And yeah, going to be an interesting weekend navigating the no wisdom tooth life. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I also have a podcast that comes out every single Saturday. Everything I talked about will be linked in the description as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Where do I move in this world? Could you please tell me what the hell I'm doing for? Bring me to my knees. I'm so stupid. Would you tell me honestly if I wasn't meant to be what I